Hello, this is Stories from Earth. Welcome to my place. Today we're reading Memoirs of a Country Doll, written by herself, by Mary Curtis. Chapter 7, Balls, Parties, and Etc. About a week after my dresses were made, my mother said that we were going to the opera that night, and the opera was going to be Robert Le Diable. Oh, how glad I was! I almost went out my wits for joy, for now I knew that I should see some most splendid things. I was dressed in a blue silk, with an opera cloak and hood. My mother was dressed so also. At last we came to the opera. Oh, how my heart beat! After sitting a little while, the musicians began to play. Oh, such music! I felt as if I never wanted to go home, but wanted to stay there all my life. My mother then told me to hark and try to hear a little bell that would ring very soon. I listened, and in a minute I heard it ring, and then ring again, and then the curtain was pulled up. The most beautiful singing that ever I heard was sung that night. I felt as if I was above the clouds and listening to angels instead of mortals. By and by the curtain came down, and then my mother told me that was the end of the opera, but there was to be a ballet soon. I now had an opportunity to look around the house. The place was immense and was filled with people. I never saw so many before in all my life, and I never could have believed that so many persons could be got into one place. Pretty soon we had the ballet, and if I was pleased with the singing, I was still more so with the dancing. The ballet was La Sylphide, and Taglioni took the principal part. We got home about one o'clock, and I laid till ten the next morning. I was so sleepy. In a couple of weeks, my mother took me to the Earl of Egmont's ball, where we had a most superb supper. There were about six hundred persons there, and I passed a most delightful night. I got home at twelve o'clock. I thanked my mother next morning for all her kindness to me, and she told me in the future that I should accompany her to all the balls she went to. So I went to a great many balls and parties, to which I owe my present polished manners. Even in the midst of their gaiety I had not forgotten my mother, Emma Arthurst, and my sister, Ellen, and was on the point of asking my present mother to let me go and see them, when she came running into the room and said, Dear Josie, here is a letter for you from your last mother, Emma. It ran thus. 